Hello YouTube, and today I'll be showing you my f top 5 favourite tweaks and apps from Cydia. Now in this, I don't really, I'm just going to go sh like straight to the settings instead of just showing you in Cydia, because in Cydia it takes ages. So I'll be showing you my top 5, my favourite ones, and what I'll do at the end, I'll give you all the, all the sources, so you can also add your own ones, and then you've also got them all. So let's just go up to settings. Yeah, yeah okay, it's, this is a bit slow bus because I haven't used it in a while. Okay, so the first one I'm going to choose... Mm, I can't even seem to find it. Alright, I found it now. Barrel. This is a great app. Okay, well, it, it's simple, but it's just nice. It gives you a nice animation whenever you change the pages. See, look, you get all of those designs. There's like 20. See, look, when you change the page, it gives you those cool flippy, cool features when you're turning. Like, you can get a 3D one and that sort of stuff. Let's go to settings and choose the next one. Okay, the next one has to be Activator. Act Activator is a great app. It just gives you shortcuts, you know what I mean. So at the home, so if you hold the home button, you can open up a certain app or something. Really useful. I just find it useful so you don't have to use the touch screen. You can just use some of the online buttons. So like if you connect to the power, you can get a, open up certain apps or something. Play music. I don't know. It's just so. It's just for you. Can got the at the home screen in application or at the lock screen, and then you've got anywhere, so it'll be everywhere. So here's my here's what I've done. Now, okay, I did kind of almost forget it, but then I remembered. You just got to hold the home screen, and it plays music. So I just find that useful because I don't like using the touch screen a bit. Sometimes we're just too lazy. It's easy just to hit a fish a fish a physical button or just help. And then on the volume button, if you go top the up volume and down volume then you change the song on it which I find very useful okay here's my next one the Android lock now I don't really like the numbers one it's a bit it's not it doesn't look as good as the Android one so you know how the Android one looks just like connect the dots I just like it I think it's very nice and looks good and because I don't like having fancy fancy that I don't like the whole Android thing because it takes up too much space on the screen we don't I don't actually have a big screen because it's an iPod touch so I prefer this sort of thing, so that you can change it, appearance, you what you can have a thing where you unlock it and then that comes up. You've got about five themes, which are quite cool, the Pac-Man. I just choose the Android one because I'm too lazy. Second one has to be InfiniDoc. Now, everyone knows this does cost money, but if you go on the sources and you search it, you'll be able to find one for free. And it's just really quite, it's really useful. I mean, what I've done, I've put the, all my Cydia stuff on one page, all four of them, so it's out of the way. Got some of the apps I use the most, like Core Bank and BBC News, and just some random ones. And you can choose what screen it opens up with. Let's go back to settings. It gives you a couple of simple settings, but they're useful. See, look, you've got scrolling, page snap, so, or you can have infinity scroll, you can start, choose what start page you want, you can have 10 on one bit. That must be so clogged, but whatever. People, some, if you want that, you have that. Okay. Now, number one, my favourite tweak from Cydia, 2012. Wi-Fi sync. Now, I know iOS 5 does have Wi-Fi sync already, but... I can't, I've got a second generation iPod. Well, they did sell it to me. It's a third, but it's a second, and it just makes it really nice. And it's just you. All you gotta do is download, get Wi-Fi Sync, and then boom, it's on. You can Wi-Fi Sync your, you can Wi-Fi Sync your iPod Touch. I think I'll do an, another video showing how to turn your iPod Touch second generation in, giving it I, iOS five. Now I was a bit disappointed at Apple for doing that, but whatever, their decisions. And it's got a, I've kind of almost already made it in iOS 5, if not better. Thank you, and goodbye. So here are the five source, four, four sources that I all used. All you've got to do is put them onto your fin and just search it up. They will all be in the description. Thank you, and goodbye.